Um, well, I think that it shows the vindication that he's innocent. We believe that this prosecution should never have taken place. Indeed, it came as a surprise because I had quite forgotten about the appeal. This appeal was made quite a long time ago um, when they uh, filed a no-case petition before the court and the high court, you know, uh, rejected it. And so they went up to appeal. So apparently it's been before the appeal court for quite a long time. So it came as quite a pleasant surprise. But it shows that um, we still have justice in this country and that um, we can uh, work to make the judiciary what we want it to be. Well, we have seen the AG really indicate that this is a prevention of justice uh, in, in the interest of uh, public accountability. Uh, one, if you, you were his appointor, what would you have advised him to do at this stage? Well, I think that this Attorney General has been discredited enough. Anywhere in the world, with the things we've seen and the coaching of witnesses and discussion with witnesses, this prosecution has been struck out as malicious prosecution. I believe this prosecution is malicious. He is not as, you know, robust and um, energetic in pursuing cases that are okay. Even just as we're talking, there's an ambulance case involving this present administration, which is hugely larger than what he's prosecuting, and yet he has no interest in that. He is like a legal representative of the MPP party, over-enthusiastic in pursuing political opponents. I've said that when we come, it will be the reverse. We will pursue accountability for the regime that has gone out. But at the same time, if any of our people are involved in the same things that have happened, for which we're prosecuting the have happened for which we are prosecuting the opposition, we would uh, the pre previous government would prosecute them too, and so I think that the Attorney General is also the Minister of Justice. He forgets that he thinks that he's just the Attorney General. The Minister of Justice is supposed to ensure fairness. Anywhere else in this world, this case would have been, and he would never even have come to court, not to talk about talking with witnesses, having conversations with witnesses, and trying to tell them what to do. Yeah, yeah this case should uh, have truncated long ago. The critics of your, yourself and the NDC say that uh, you have suddenly found your voice in reposing some sort of confidence in the judiciary. What's your reaction to this as well? No, not that we've suddenly uh, found our voice. I do think that despite the issues we have with the judiciary, there are judges who are fair-minded. We're not talking about all judges. You know, in some cases, we criticize judgments. I mean, for instance, to say that your birth certificate cannot be a proof of your identity as a citizen. I don't agree with that judgment. But they pronounce it, and we've abided by it. We sent an election petition. We're thrown out. I said I respect the judgment of the courts. So we've always respected the judgment of the courts. As president, I can say that I never, ever once interfered in the administration of justice. Even though the chief justice was a church member of mine, I can say on authority that I never, ever discussed one case with her. I left it to the judges, the, the wisdom of the judges, to make those determinations. In this government, we know and we've heard of manipulation of justice. Ju uh, justice. Judges are called and told what decisions to take and all that, I do think that we give judges tenure, um, security of tenure so that they can be fair-minded in, uh, in what they do. And I'm prepared to work with the judiciary to create the kind of judiciary we deserve. Judi the judiciary is the last arbiter in all the three arms of government when it comes to any dispute. And the judiciary creates an environment for investors to come. If, inv if investors believe that they can get a fair hearing in case of any commercial disputes or anything, they will come into your country. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, the message that goes out there is that we're able to manipulate our courts against investors. And so sometimes it sends a bad signal for investment. I'm prepared to come as president, work with the Chief Justice, work with the Judicial Council to make sure that we have a judiciary that is fair, that dispenses justice to all, without recognition of your political or ethnic color, without re recognition of who you are. And so I think that this is a landmark decision. 
And um, if I was the Attorney General, I would just let it rest there. But I hear he says he's going to go to the Supreme Court. Yeah. It shows how malicious his eagerness to prosecute.